I'm Lynn Kevin. I work in Missoula County Public Schools as a math TOSA, and TOSA stands for Teacher on Special Assignment. Um, here in front of me, I have the Math Expressions Program. That's the title of the program we use in grades one through five. It's a program that was funded by the National Science Foundation, and it was written by Dr. Karen Fusan, a professor at Northwestern University. It ties into her research that she was doing in terms of how students learn mathematics and how students around the world learn mathematics in different ways. The really great thing about this program as it builds understanding in students of math rather than just asking them to follow what we might call a recipe to do math. Um, there's a very big reliance on math talk in the classroom so that students explain their thinking um, to other students and other students are allowed the opportunity to question, agree or disagree and actually have conversation about math. That makes vocabulary really important. So you'll see a big emphasis on vocabulary in this program so students are using the language of math. So the really nice thing about this program is it moves students from the manipulative to a drawing very quickly because it's hard to share your thinking with manipulatives because they're hard to share. So students will use a math board and you'll see me demonstrating a math board in other videos um, so that they're able to hold up their work and to show and point and explain their thinking. Um, understanding is the very important part of math in the way that we're teaching it now. In first grade, the students are using two volumes of this book. Um, they actually write in their book. Um, there's a heavy emphasis in first grade on number sense and students working with numbers and the operations addition and subtraction. You'll also see students developing their understanding in geometry, measurement and time is included there, data and probability. In second grade, the students extend their thinking, um, a heavy emphasis in numbers and operations, and the emphasis in algebra. Um, and when people say algebra in second grade, we're doing some pre-algebra things where we're solving for unknowns, not just trying to figure out uh, an unknown end to a problem. We often figure out an unknown start or an unknown change along with an unknown result. So we're developing some early algebra skills. Students are working to become flexible with their equations. Um, and we're working another strong emphasis in geometry, in the properties of shapes, and working with time, a measurement, and data and probability. So moving into the third grade text, you'll see that the students now are working in a hardback book and they're doing work on a math board or paper. Uh, multiplication is a, and division are a big part of math expressions in third grade, along with um, some development of understanding with fractions. Um, the emphasis in uh, pre-algebra thinking is becoming more. And then fourth and fifth grade students are working in numbers and operations and algebra, um, doing algebraic representations of division and multiplication. Um, heavy emphasis in geometry, but really the emphasis in moving students to some more algebraic looking things where they're starting to represent unknowns with letters. Um, and you'll see lots of work in terms of them working very flexibly with equations. When you're working with your student, you'll want to ask them questions to get them to explain to you um, what they actually understand about what they're doing. We're hoping to improve dialogue between students, families, and parents, along with teachers.